Welcome dear students to Computer Studies Standard 9th English Medium. Today we are going to start with a new chapter that is chapter number 10. Before we begin the video, all those who are new on my channel or haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel so that you don't miss any updates. This channel is going to be helpful to you till standard 12th. So subscribe the channel and continue watching the video. Let's begin. This chapter is going to be very interesting because till now all the chapters which you had studied were all theory based chapters. You may not be finding interest in those chapters. But from this chapter all the remaining chapters are all practical chapters. So whatever I will be teaching you here you will have to follow those things and if you are having a computer at your house then you also have to do these things practically. Another thing is many of the students are having bad habit of uh, watching the video half and just closing it. Fine, you can do it in this, chap this video also. But one thing I will tell you is from now onwards all the chapters are connected with each other. So suppose if you miss any part from any of the chapter then in the next video you will not be able to understand what is going on. Besides, the MCQs which are going to be asked from this chapter, I have not marked anything in uh, any other color or I haven't underlined anything. Because here whatever I am speaking, whatever I am explaining, you have to pause the video and if you are noting down the MCQs, you may note down the MCQs from that. And please do watch the video from the starting to the end, then only you will understand all the things. Okay, my dear students, now in this chapter we are going to learn the different editing and formatting options. Fine, now most of them are genius students who are knowing everything, am I right? But here the software which we are going to use is openoffice.org writer. The thing which you are knowing is in Microsoft Word. Now there are so many similar operations and there are so many uh, operations which differ in Microsoft Word and uh, this software. Now the paper will be set from this thing which is given in the textbook. So you need to learn all the features which I am explaining you practically just now. First of all, uh, the first topic which I am going to cover here is selecting text. Okay, now there are two ways of selecting text using mouse and using keyboard. So the first technique of selecting the text is the simple technique which I used just now. I click somewhere and drag my mouse which is common in Microsoft Word and other software. Fine. I am going to note down how many techniques we are learning. So I put one here. Okay. Now another technique which is not there in Microsoft Word is I go to edit menu. I go to selection mode and from selection mode I click on block area. Fine. After that what will happen? Just see. This much block for example I want to select. Then I will be able to see uh, select that uh, block using this technique. Just see. This facility is not there in Microsoft Word. Why? Because an intelligent person has designed Microsoft Word. This is a hopeless facility, useless facility. For example if I select this block, I copy it and if I paste it somewhere, it will look funny. Just see features of WO full stop if how does it look it, it uh, totally looks funny it doesn't make any sense but this could be asked in the MCQ also and uh, this is a practical chapter so I have not tick mark anywhere that this could be asked in MCQ you have to watch the whole video and study the things which are explained here fine now the next uh, way of selection first I will make the selection mode as standard remember this fine so this was the another technique uh, with the mouse so I put one more one here third technique to select any word I have to give a double click on that word right this is same as Microsoft Word then if I give triple click on any word then that sentence will get selected what is the meaning of sentence the statement which is ending with a full stop sign 
this is different than Microsoft Word. If I give triple click anywhere in a paragraph in Microsoft Word, then the whole paragraph gets selected. So this is different here. So I put one more one here. Then if you want to select the paragraph in uh, openoffice.org writer, then I have to give four times click. Okay, like this way. So four clicks are used to select the whole paragraph. Fine. So I put one more one here. So this were all the four five techniques using mouse. One more technique I am teaching you just now. First, uh, let us uh, go to the keyboard technique. Now, using keyboard, for example, if I am uh, my cursor is here in the beginning of this sentence, then I press the shift key and left hand arrow key. Okay, then one one letters will get selected. So technique number one. Then if I press and hold the shift and control key and then I press the left hand arrow key then the whole word will get selected. Just observe the difference. When I am clicking on the right hand side arrow key the whole word is getting selected. If I press shift, control and left hand arrow key. So how many techniques did we learn? Two techniques. Right? Fine. Now this works both the ways, left hand side or right hand side or bottom side, all three ways it works or top side, four ways it works. Fine. Then the next thing is using the end key. Okay. For example, I am uh, in between this sentence, then I press the home key. You rarely make the use of home key, I am knowing that. It is uh, located on the upper side of the arrow keys. So I press the home keys then I will come to the beginning of the statement. Then the combination of keys are shift and end. Remember the combination to select that line. Okay, you have to press shift and end. This all things could be asked in the MCQs and these things are not explained properly in the textbook. But 110% whenever any computer, is teach, uh, computer teacher is teaching this topic in any of the school, he knows all the techniques and he will be likely to be asking this type of things, twisted questions. So remember, once again I repeat, uh, when I press the home key, my cursor will go to the beginning of that respective line and to select that line, I will press shift plus and key, remember. Okay, so third technique. Then same way, uh, shift plus home key, if my cursor is in the ending of the line, then shift plus home key, fine, so fourth technique, then selecting everything, okay, whatever we have typed, control A, that we know, it is in Microsoft Word also, control A is used to select everything, fine. So there are 5-5 five, five techniques of both. Now I am going to teach you the 6th uh, technique of uh, selecting the words lying in different parts. Now in case if you want to select different words which are located in different part of the paragraph. For example chapter, word processor, document, this 3 words. Ok, then how to do the thing? For that you have to use the combination of keyboard and mouse both. Okay, so how shall we do it? First of all, I will select the first word and then I have to press and hold the control key. And then I have to select the next desired word. So like this way, you have to go on selecting the words whichever you want to select. Fine, so that is using keyboard and mouse both. Then we come to the next thing and that is undoing and redoing the changes. Now everybody knows this thing, there is nothing new in that. But then to try to remember whatever I am teaching because it could be asked in the MCQs. For example, what is the shortcut key for undo? You all know that it is Ctrl Z. But what is the shortcut key of redo? Then it is Ctrl Y. Remember both these words, I am highlighting it. Okay, Control Z and Control Y. So I will show you with an example. For example, I delete this much. Okay, and when I press Control Z, the word will come back. Again, if I press Control Z, then again the next word also will come back. While if I press the Control Y key, 
then reverse action that is undo and redo fine then the next thing is using the icons now here icons are given see yellow color icon for undo remember this thing it should be it could be asked in the mcq yellow color arrow key for undo and green color arrow key for redo so i can do it like this way also okay now another thing here there are so many sub options related to undo just see now i am not teaching you this option because it is out of the course fine now next thing is cutting copying pasting and using format painter now format painter is a new thing for you okay and this thing also it could be asked in the mcq that there are how many ways of cutting copying and pasting then there are four ways first thing is using the menu option now this is the most uh, longest way of doing the thing never use this thing okay for example i select the word editing and i want to copy then i have to go to edit menu this thing could be asked in the mcq also that where is the cut copy paste command located that is in which menu then the answer is edit menu yes this question is already asked so many times so remember this and that is why i told you that watch the video from the starting to the end since you know everything it doesn't means that you don't need to watch the thing because to answer the mcqs you need to know all these options fine so from here i can select this word editing and copy okay now if i want to paste it here or here then i have to use edit command and paste this is the longest way of doing the thing never use this thing so menu command is over then we come to the usage of mouse this is the most common technique i select this word right click and copy right click and paste right simple thing we all use this thing same way for cutting select the word right click and cut right click and paste fine then comes with the help of keyboard again mcq could be asked from here what is the shortcut key for copying control c everybody knows what is the shortcut key for uh, cutting both the word starts from letter c so everywhere it cannot be control c control c it is control x for cutting and which is the shortcut key for pasting p for pasting right no wrong control v for pasting so this could be asked in the mcq i am highlighting this word okay this uh, statement is making it bold control c for copying control x for cutting and control v for pasting i am cutting this word from here control x i am pasting it here control v okay fine now i am deleting the word or i will use the icons now now to cut the word from here the icon used is scissor remember this word scissor is used for cutting so i cut the word and i paste it here so this was all about cutting and pasting fine now the last thing is format painter for example i have used here blue color and bold same thing i want to use same format i want to use on this word then what to do i select this word and select this brush symbol remember brush symbol is used for copying the format and not the text so i copied the word and then the icon will turn into this bottle sign now i rub that thing on this word and so this format got pasted over there remember the text has not been pasted only the format has been pasted fine now the last topic of this video is find and replace option now in microsoft word it is different while here also it is different first using the keyboard so control plus f remember this okay control f will open fi open find and replace dialog box in microsoft word for replace there is control h but here there is no control h only control f so i press control f so find and replace dialog box will open 
Now here I have to type the word for which I am looking. So I type the word T H E the. Okay. One thing which I have forgotten to do is to come to the starting of the document before doing anything. So control home. So I will it to the starting. Now control F. Word the. Okay. Now there are two options: find and find all. If I click on the find option, then it will come and stop at the first occurrence of that word. Then again, if I click find, it will stop at the second occurrence of this word. And if I click on find all, it will show me everywhere where the word the is used. Another thing, I have to also explain you the meaning of match case and whole words only. Match case means here if I have type the in small letters, nothing in capital, then it will look only for that word in that case. Okay. If I click here, then whole words only means what? That just now if I don't click here and if I use here word T H E R E there. Okay. Find all. Now say you can say that it has also searched the word there, right? So if I click on only whole words and then click find next, see, then it will not search the from there. Okay, there's two options. Remember, more is not there in your course, so I am not teaching you more. Fine. Now we come to the replace option. Before that, I close this dialog box just now. I open it again. Control F. Okay, I want to replace the the with a. Okay. Now I don't want to replace it everywhere. I want to replace it only in some places. So I click on Find. Okay, here. Do would I like to replace? Yes. So I have to click on Replace. And if I click on Replace All, then it will replace all the occurrence of word the with a. Now just now I don't want to replace everywhere. So I find next. Here I don't want to replace. Then find next. Yeah, here I want to replace. So replace. So this is Find and Replace. So this was using shortcut key and using icon, you can uh, also search from the edit menu. Okay, in the edit menu, you get the option find and replace. Same thing will open. So here we complete this chapter. So we end up this video over here and we meet in the next video. If you have liked the video, please hit the like button. Thank you. Goodbye.